So welcome to another edition of Stadium Eats. We are here at Great American Ballpark and we are getting ready to do our Stadium Eats tour here at the ballpark. Great American Ballpark. Great American Ballpark, the Cincinnati Reds Park. And um, we're actually standing here in front of the Montgomery Inn booth, which is also a Cincinnati staple uh, for barbecue. They have restaurants all over, well not all over, but a few places in the Cincinnati area. Uh, we've eaten there before, it's pretty good barbecue. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be on our list today, but I figured it'd be an honorable mention uh, if you're in Cincinnati to take a stop at Montgomery Inn. They've got a, a lot of really cool memorabilia in their restaurant um, of a lot of different things Cincinnati. So go check that out. But let's go try some food. Right behind where we just were in the intro, this is Fry Box. So they basically put a whole bunch of stuff on fries and they put it in a box. So <laughs> this is going to be our first stop of so our So that's community. why it's Fry Box. We'll come up here and we'll show you some of the items that you can get. Um, they actually have a few samples out here. Here is an example of the fries. It's got pulled pork on top with some slaw. And then here's one that has some chicken, shredded chicken, with blue cheese and some green onions and cheese on top. And this is like, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a gravy. It's a uh, white gravy with uh, cheese and onions on top of the fries. So you pretty much can make it however you want. Um, the items, it's about 12, 12.75 for each uh, for each item. Oh, here in Cincinnati, Geta. It's actually Geta gravy, uh, which is pretty gross. So you definitely don't want that. Uh, Geta, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a Cincinnati thing, I believe, and it's really gross. So you don't want that. This is pulled pork uh, with cheese. You can also get shredded cheese, but we got normal cheese with fries and then slaw. Yeah, so it's barbecue, pulled pork, fries. It's got the cheese and the slaw. Go ahead, give it a try. It's really hot. My eyes are watering. Hot in what way? Like spicy or like no, like temperature hot. Yeah, temperature hot. But like, describe the flavors. It's very. It's really barbecuey. Like there's a lot of sauce. I taste a lot of sauce. So maybe not quite as much sauce. My culture is everything. There's a barbecue. Alright, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm actually gonna skip on the slaw because that's not something I eat. Try to get a fry here. Barbecue, you're right. Some big fries, but you're right. The um, the fries are really, really hot, which is good. You want hot fries, but they did put way too much barbecue sauce on it, so they're a little strong on the barbecue side. But the pork that's on there is really, really flavorful. It's a really good barbecue pork. Um, so. I definitely recommend the fry box. As we showed you, you can get them many different ways. Um, we just chose the barbecue pork, I guess since we were right here with Montgomery Inn. But it's really good. Okay, so slide of change. We wanted to get a, some few other items. Uh, we, it was a Philly, shake, Philly cheesesteak egg roll. There was a burger we wanted and some other things. But we can't get them because you need a special ticket apparently. We went to the guest services to like, find what we needed and they said you have to have a special ticket so we're gonna have to find some other places but that's not gonna stop us so leave a like for our struggles so we've decided our next stop uh on our stadium eats tour here at great america ballpark is going to be penn station east coast subs um they do have some of these chains around the u.s but it is something that's very popular here and um in cincinnati is penn station one of the most things that they're known for are their cheese steaks. So we're, let's go check out a cheese steak here at Penn Station Subs. So we got the Philly cheese steak. Let's open it if we can. There's like some tape. It was $11.50 for this basket of fries, which is a decent amount of fries and the cheese steak. They did say they were pre-made, so we could. 
couldn't get anything like special on them. Yeah, we just ordered it just meat and cheese because we don't normally eat onions on our cheesesteaks. However, they had already like pre-made them, I guess. So, but we did get some mayonnaise packets. I'm gonna put that in there. Actually, can you pick through some of those onions or no? No way, just do it. Who cares? Okay, so we're taking our first bite. Is it hot even though it's pre-made? Okay, well that's good. Keep it in like a heated area. Okay. Because you pulled it out. Okay. Good. You like it? I, the onions are actually pretty okay. Here, let's see what you got. Yeah, that's a good looking cheesesteak. And then these are like... These are solid fresh cut fries. Yeah, fresh cut fries. Alright, I'm going to try a bite. That's good. Like you said, the onions actually give it a really good flavor. We don't normally get onions on our cheesesteaks, but it's good. So we are now at Rosie's Ice Cream to find something a little sweet. Uh, they got a bunch of different choices. You can get uh, waffle bowls, you can get a thing and a helmet, and choose your toppings. Let me zoom in so you can see the prices. So we just got to Rosie's Rosie's ice cream and we got the swirl with chocolate and caramel syrup and they have a waffle bowl and they make it into red because of the red. So I got right. some chocolate and vanilla with the thing. And we got a swirl ice cream and then we got Carter wanted chocolate and caramel sauce on top which also came with it. Seven bucks. It's actually a pretty decent size for seven dollars. We could have gotten other toppings. I think some of the other toppings were whipped cream, cherries, Oreos we could have gotten. Try that. It is really good soft serve. Yeah? Really good soft serve. Somehow every time we do these food videos, we are right underneath the speaker. I know, I see. <laughs> Alright, get you another bite. So it's really I good soft serve. How's the uh, waffle coat or the waffle bowl? Brain freeze? Already? Oh boy. It's just on my right side of the head. And it's hurting my eyes. That is really good soft serve, you're right. This is big. I'm actually really impressed with the size. Not that we're comparing, but if you haven't seen our other Stadium Eats video, we'll leave a description down at the bottom and up in the corner as well. But we also got a hot fudge sundae at Progressive Field for the Cleveland Indians. And if you remember, it was also $7. But think about the size. Yeah, it was like like a tiny cup. It was really good. And it was more hot fudge sundae where this is just the chocolate syrup. But it is a massive bowl of ice cream. All right, we're gonna get into this before we go find another restaurant. So honorable mention, Skyline is here but since we're from the South. Uh, we don't really care for it, so we're gonna go get something else. But honorable mention, Skyline Chili is here all over the place. Yeah, and you can get uh, chili, they have conies where you get chili and cheese and onions on a little bitty hot dog. Or you can get like spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti with chili and cheese and onions and beans and stuff on top of it. You really have to be from this area to like it. Very few people outside of this area like it, including us. So um, if we were visiting this park, that would probably be something that we get, but not today. Big boy, that's another thing, uh, kind of Ohio y. So, we're gonna get a cheeseburger. Yeah, it's a big, it's act, I think it's actually called a big boy burger. Um, it's actually this right here, but we're not gonna get the tartar sauce on it because we just do not like tartar sauce. So, I think that's a classic thing to get with the tartar sauce uh, the Frisch's big boy sandwich with the fries. But we're just gonna ask for no tartar sauce, we can't do it. So, Frisch's big boy. All right, so we had a little technical difficulty. We shot some video of us eating the sandwich and it was all twisted up and messed up. So we had to reshoot. So Carter's taking his bite. Give us some feedback. There is the uh, big boy sandwich. Again, we got it without tartar sauce, which I think is one of the biggest staples of it. And no pickles as well. So give us your feedback, Carter, on the big boy sandwich. Um, it's okay. It's not like something you to die for. 
it's just a normal cheeseburger. It's, I don't see anything special about it. Yeah. I will say the fries are piping hot and very, very good. We got like a massive, a little cup of ketchup. Um, the fries are really, really good. The burger is just kind of average. Yeah, it's just okay. I tried a bite as well. I dipped mine in ketchup, gave it a little bit more flavor, um, but it's just okay. Another little quick honorable mention here is Grater's Ice Cream. Um, it is a Cincinnati staple, as you can see, since 1870. and. Uh, it is one of the best ice creams that you'll eat. So if you're in the Cincinnati area, they have them all over Cincinnati. You can get all different kinds of flavors of ice cream. For some reason, this kiosk is not open today um, for the Grater's ice cream. So we can't get it today, but we thought we'd mention it to you. Go find a location and check it out. It's really, really good. So another item that we have here, and probably our last, is they have a Cheeto popcorn stand. I'm not sure how good this is. We've never been here before. But as you can see, it's like tossing the Cheeto popcorn in the machine right there. That's where we're going here. And it's branded by Cheetos. I'm going to give that a try as well. So we got the Cheetos popcorn. And this better be the best popcorn ever because it was $10 just for this. It does have some Cheetos in it, but we're going to try it. I'm going to get some Cheetos and popcorn, but not yet. I'm guessing the popcorn has a Cheeto flavor to it, does it? No? I think you might have to eat them together. But what does it taste like? Just the popcorn part? Just like regular popcorn? I can taste that there's something there, but it's not like Cheetos. I thought the popcorn was made out of Cheetos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it looks like the popcorn has that orange flavor like a Cheeto. So that's why I thought it was Cheetos as well. Let's see, I'll grab a bite. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, the best way that I can describe it and explain it to you is it tastes just like, you know when you were a kid and you would get those Christmas tins of popcorn where it'd be divided with a little divider and you'd get the caramel corn, the butter popcorn, and the cheese popcorn? Uh, at Christmas time, that's what this popcorn tastes like to me. It tastes like that cheese popcorn and then just regular Cheetos, which are good. But I don't know, it's a weird combination. I definitely don't think it's worth $10. That's a little much, but it is something else. Another option here at Great American Ballpark. And that was our second Stadium Meets video here at Great American Ballpark. Go check out in our playlist all of our other Stadium Eats videos and also go check out our Stadium Tour videos. So, don't, don't forget, forget to turn on the AC. AC.